60 years since nuclear testing took place on a remote island in the South Pacific. The seas around Bikini Atoll are littered with the wrecks of ships used in those tests and attract divers from around the world. One of them is Chris Strawry, who's travelled from Hull halfway around the world to take up a job there as a filmmaker and also a scuba diving guide. Imagine this was your office. Well, for one Hull man, it is, and it's quite literally on the other side of the world. It takes three days to reach Bikini Atoll, where Chris Dory works as a dive guide and films wrecks left behind by atomic testing. It was in the late 1940s when 200 ships were assembled in the lagoon as part of Operation Crossroads, the American testing of nuclear bombs. They've been sunk in a, a, a historically significant event, um, but very intact. They had everything on board when they sank, so they were fully fueled, um, fully um, loaded up with ammunition uh, and plates, pots, pans, crockery, cutlery. Uh, everything's there. It's all still there for divers to see. All 146 native Bikinians were moved to another atoll. They've never returned due to the radioactive fallout. Instead, the islands are home to Chris and his teams who host up to 200 divers a year. This is um, a Curtis Helldiver torpedo bomber, uh, which is one of the planes that was inside the hangar uh, when it sank. Uh, unfortunately, the, um, the deck above is collapsing down. Um, this is the only one that's been left intact. It's a far cry from one of his last diving jobs in Hull, helping to clean tanks at the deep. But it's a job he wouldn't change for the world. As a diver, uh, I'm quite privileged to be there. Um, it's probably in the diving world, it's one of the top jobs. Some incredible uh, pictures in that report. Now, Bridlington's.